Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paroma Sharma and this is my little rectangle where I share a little bit of my life with you. And today is another day, another video, and really hot. I don't know what's going on, but it's really nice. It's 15 degrees outside, which is amazing. Today, I am going to be starting and potentially finishing, we'll see how far we get, uh, the new uh, desk project. So the desk DIY revamp project. So if you haven't been following, go check out yesterday's vlog. Basically, I'm setting up a uh, YouTube space, kind of like a YouTube office, and I needed a desk and I picked up a really, really neat very cute Kijiji find. It's an antique, it's old, it's like breaking down and it is our job to bring it back to life. And that's exactly where we're going right now. I'm going to the dollar store to pick up a couple of goods that was supposed to go a lot cooler than it did. So I got everything I really wanted from the dollar store. The only other optional thing, not really optional because I'm still going to have to figure out a way to cover my nose, but the only other thing that I didn't find was um, masks because, you know, masks are so in demand right now. So I didn't necessarily need a mask to protect myself from germs. I needed like a construction mask rather so that I don't get any dust like any wood shavings or dust like inhale any because I'm going to be sanding it down but I couldn't find any which means I'm just going to have to play it by ear and see how it progresses. Funny enough the McDonald's drive through is longer than the storefront lines so the line for the McDonald's right like there are cars behind me I don't know if you could see in cars for days in front of me where I like to get my hot coffee from Tim Hortons or Starbucks um, and I like to get my iced coffee from McDonald's because theirs is delicious hi can I get a medium iced coffee yep. um, can I get that iced coffee without any sugar syrup so no sugar yep. and is it possible to make it with milk instead of cream sure. great thank you Oh my god, the sunglasses left a little mark. Oftentimes when I tell them I'd like it made with milk and without any sugar, they tend to get it wrong. Because I understand it's not a very common order. Especially in a time like this where the actual restaurants are closed and only drive throughs are open. They're really busy. I understand. It's probably really annoying. For someone who works at a drive through to get a person like me roll up and be like i want this with a dash of this and a little bit of that like that's 100 percent who i am got it wrong they made it the way they normally make iced coffee which is with a whole lot of cream and sugar it doesn't even look like coffee i told you it looks like a latte it's okay still drink it i'd rather not but i will don't judge me I'm putting some instant coffee into this because this literally tastes like a coffee flavored milkshake. I'm wondering whether I should change or I should just like get to it. I think I'm just gonna get to the project. I'm too excited. Hi guys. Okay, welcome to my garage. I've never really done a craft DIY project in a garage before. So this definitely feels like the real deal right now, which is so much fun. So I wanted to really quickly show you guys what I picked up from the dollar store today. It's a hand sanding block kit. There are different kinds of uh, sanding sponges and then it also has an apparatus that clips onto the sponge so that it's easier for you to hold and maneuver. And then I just picked up a $2 brush set. We have a lot of candles at home, obviously, but this project calls for some wax. And I wanted to pick up some really cheap, unscented, just like candlesticks, stainless steel sponges, there we go, or steel sponges, whatever. Um, heavy duty gloves. I'm going to be putting a coat of this on. We don't really need a whole lot of paint for this. This is the only thing I could find that had a little bit of gold paint in it. Um, so I picked this up because I'm going to be taking the hardware off of the actual desk. If I clean the hardware on the actual desk and it's not sparkly enough, I'm going to touch it up with a little bit of this gold paint. 
and I also picked up some goggles. And that's about it for what we got at the dollar store today for this project. I think we're pretty much set to go. So I'm going to really quickly go upstairs and throw on some dirty clothes that I don't mind getting like dirtier. This is gonna be a lot of physical work. I am so excited for this. It's a beautiful day. I've got coffee, I'll have music. I'm sharing this with you guys. And I finally have the time and the courage to tackle a project like this. I am so excited in case you can't tell. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is take out the hardware, which means the knobs, the handles, any of those kinds of metal ornamental parts. I'm going to be pulling the drawers out and then I'm going to be taking the hardware out. I'm also going to be taking the fabric seat part, the upholstery, off of the chair. So I'm gonna get new fabric and make this really pretty really nice and cover it all up The next task is to find a piece of uh, fabric for this So first I'm gonna actually start searching from inside the house. You'd be surprised how many like tops t-shirts blankets pillow covers bed sheets curtains like scarves you'd be surprised how many things you have laying around like pieces of cloth inside your house that you could actually use for these kinds of revamp and DIY projects. All right guys, check this out. So we have gutted the desk. Um, I've taken off all the hardware, it was easy enough. After we're done with this portion of this video, I'm going to be soaking the, I think they're brass actually, the hardware. We're going to be soaking those in baking soda, hot water, lime, salt, I don't know, some sort of concoction. I'll look it up online. I'm going to be scrubbing all the grime off of them to see if it looks alive and if it doesn't restore its shine or you know its character at least i will go over it with a little bit of the uh, gold paint moving on to the desk all the drawers are on the ground there all the hardware is on the side there what we're going to be doing is actually uh, gearing up so i'm going to get on the goggles and the gloves and i'm going to take out the um, the sanding block, so the sanding equipment, and I'm also going to take out the steel spoolie. It's really not that much surface area. I only really need to do the side, the top, the side, and these tiny little bits right here, and it's really not a whole lot. Um, and for the drawers, actually, it's even easier because all we really need to sand down is the front. I love the stain that they have. They've got like this red finish stain on the inside of the drawer and we're going to try to preserve that so we're actually not going to touch the inside. Okay, so this is the exciting part. I'm going to gear up and I'm going to put you guys on time lapse and we are going to go at this. Alright guys, I'm going to really quickly show you how it's looking so far. The extra coarse sand block as well as the medium coarse sand block. I really just wanted to use that first sanding down um, to weather it a little bit more and also get some of the grime off because like with like years and years of wear and tear there's grime that builds up although this one's this one was in really good shape i really want some real textures to come out a little bit more i don't know if you could see there's a little bit of gold paint there and there's some gold paint here and here like these borders look like they were all gold painted which i thought was so neat and because i do have some of the gold paint i'm actually going to take a piece of cloth or paper towel and dip it in the gold paint and just brush it over these parts i'm just gonna leave these if anything i'll clean it up a little bit later with baking soda but i'm not gonna detach these two legs now i'm gonna go ahead and really quickly do the front of these my husband decided to step in and help and we've been able to sand down everything um, all the faces that I wanted to sand down 
So the next step is to take the wax handles like this so that they feel like a marker, like a utensil in your hand, and you just really have to highlight wear and tear area. Rub the wax over the corners, the edges. We are ready to paint. Okay guys, good old acrylic paint. So we are just going to go ahead with white paint because everything's waxed and just start painting. So you see how the bristles are leaving streaks and you want that. Okay guys, are you ready to see today's progress? Ta-da! Absolutely in love with how rustic and farmhouse it looks. It's just, it's, I like, I love it like this already. And I can't imagine how amazing it's gonna look after the paint properly dries and we're able to go in and sand it off and make it a little bit more worn and uh, rustic. The wax that we laid down before painting is going to come off easier when we go at it with a metal spoolie and a sand block again. So we are going to let this dry for the rest of the day and tomorrow I am going to finish it off and then I'm gonna we're gonna take it upstairs. So let's go soak that hardware. guys I know that looks gross but we've gone ahead and soaked the hardware in club soda with baking soda and uh, lemon juice and salt so it's doing something definitely looks like it's doing something in there I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video here I hope you enjoyed today's upload I definitely enjoyed getting my hands dirty and sanding this down and working on it. It was very therapeutic. We had music going in the background. Um, my husband helped quite a lot. I don't think I would have been done this early if he hadn't helped. He just like went through all the sanding and all the painting while I took my time and enjoyed the art. So this set is going to get officially finished tomorrow. So stay tuned and make sure you watch tomorrow's upload to see how this all pans out. And with that, you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I am making daily videos for the entire month of May. That's right, daily videos. So make sure you come back tomorrow to see what I get up to in terms of finishing this set and putting it into my new YouTube space. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow.